So today I'll be showing you guys how to make use of this wasted space right here and keeping it look similar to stock. This is what we're going to be putting on. It's the C4 Fabrications low profile uh, bumper and winch mount. And we got a rough country 9,500 pound winch to go right inside of there. Going the low profile bumper route is a, a good way to keep it looking stock while also add, adding protection and uh, good recovery points and then another winch for there. My whole purpose of like building my Tacoma is to keep it looking stock while also adding off-road capabilities to it because I'll be it's pretty much my overlanding rig so I want it still streetable and not too I don't want it to jump out at you so that's that's the reason why I chose a low profile bumper all right first things first is taking the the grill off it's a clip here a Phillips a Phillips and then another clip and then this, this will just pop right off flathead two flatheads will do just go on either side of it and just pop them right up it'll come right out we got a couple more of those tabs right down in there I doubt you can see it but straight down there that's holding it on and then same on the opposite side straight down there the nerve wracking part now after all the pins and screws are removed after all the pins and screws are removed you gotta put your hand inside and then bump the bottom of it just smack it pretty gentle this side's already loose so you just pop that loose come to this side same thing and it comes right off sorry about the light situation but on this side there was a screw here I'm just going along, just shaking everything, seeing where it's being held up on. And then another thing, you have to come in and disconnect your uh, your fog lights. So you're, you're going to take the light bulb out. This one's kind of hard to see, but up in there, there's a little uh, Phillips you got to remove. Got to remove this clip. And then I think there's one underneath the, the splash guard still. We're just gonna take it and smack it with our hand, or pull it. Woo. All right, there we got it. Man, I always hate taking off plastic body panels like that because it always feels like they're gonna just snap so but came off good these this one fell off it just popped back in same on both sides now with the bumper flipped around we're gonna be removing all of these blue clips which is holding in this the black piece of the bumper so you just take your flathead push this the left hand tab down and then pull it out this way Now, there's a bunch of these little little tab things sticking out like that. I just took some tin snips and snipped them all off. We're not gonna be reusing them anyways. So it should look like that. This is now trash. So up next, we're gonna be cutting this, this piece out. This is underneath that black piece and uh, C4 Fab says to uh, take tin, tin snips or like a jigsaw or anything just to cut right along right along this body line on both sides. So I'm gonna try, try it with tin snips and see how that works. If not, I'll probably use a Dremel. Bumper set aside, we're not going to tackle this uh, aluminum crash bar. There's a 
three 14 millimeter bolts on this side and three 14 millimeter bolts on that side. Just take those off because this is getting replaced. That's trash. Now on to removing the factory tow hitch. We'll be replacing that tow hitch with the, uh, the three quarter inch D-ring shackles. Then the last thing to remove is another 17 millimeter nut for these frame end caps. Once you remove that from right here, give it a good wiggle and out it comes. It has a captured nut in there so you don't have to worry about it. All right, now we got the end caps removed, that aluminum crash bar and the tow hook. We can reinstall the plastic bumper just so it doesn't look as naked. So now we got the winch on and uh, the four bolts, you put the one out here and then this little, oh, back back here, that's a little window where you can fit this, the front bolt in. Ah, sorry guys. There. Just got a finder. Well, I'll, off camera I'll do that, but that's what this window is here for. It's that time of year again where I need to bust out the heater. So we got the winch all mounted up. Now all we have to do is uh, attach it by the first, those six mounting bolts that were holding on the aluminum crash bar. Those are gonna be the first ones I put on. Here we go. Okay, so I got the bumper in place. That was a pain in the butt. I wish I had one of those hydraulic jacks, but I actually had to use my sister and then I have this high lift to bring it up closer to the frame. So, next thing, we're gonna take these two uh, large bolts, washer, washer, and the nut, and suck up the sides so I can take it up to the height, and then I'm gonna screw those three bolts on each side and suck it to the frame. So, let's get started on that. Sorry for the shadows, but this is the, uh, the end of the frame. I'm gonna stick the, the big bolt through there. All right, finally got it mounted up. Biggest tip I've, I can give you is make sure you trim it, trim it closer to the body line. I kind of left a little, little too much there, so it kind of made it not line up properly, but I don't know. So the last thing is to drill a hole underneath here to connect the uh, plastic bumper to the metal bumper. And I'll just use a step bit and then uh, Screw it together. So here's the end result. Put some, put a few good miles on here. We went out to uh, Moab a couple weeks ago. So I got some red clay on there, looking good. Everything's holding up good, nice and solid still. And uh, definitely recommend this bumper. Looks super good, nice and aggressive. Thanks for watching.